Good morning. Happy Saturday. So I uh, just a little inspiration for a Saturday morning, kind of like we used to have our Saturday morning cartoons when we were little. <clears throat> so I kind of think about sometimes the things that my clients struggle with is staying in the present moment. Guys, I forgot to tap the camera around. Hi, living the dream, California. That was perfect timing. Um, kind of new to Periscope, so getting used to this whole thing. But I just wanted to kind of talk about a little inspiration for our Saturday. Sometimes some of the things that I know my clients and myself think about or struggle with is staying in the present moment. And it kind of like sometimes people are like, what does that really even mean? And one of the ways that I like to think about it is trying not to make too big of a deal about it but if sometimes you struggle with that give me some taps and give me some little hearts I know I have a couple people here one or two people and um, sometimes thinking about staying in the now is just as simple as that just not having our energy focused on the worries of tomorrow or what happened or didn't happen yesterday and I always like to think of what Caroline Mace talks about and if you know of Caroline Mace, give me a few little taps of hearts and that would be awesome. If you don't, she's definitely somebody that you should check out um, if you're interested at all in a subtle body energy and kind of like understanding how to focus on where your energy is going and where most of your energy is spent. And I love what she says about kind of thinking that we have energy currency. We start our energy day, we start our day with a currency of say $100 of energy currency. And if you are you get up late and you're frustrated already or you were worried about what didn't get done yesterday, then that is about $20 in currency that you just lost or that you just used up. And then maybe you're on your way to work and somebody cuts you off and you get upset and there's another $20 in energy currency. So when you think about it, about life happening in the now, it's about our spirit being present and not letting those outside worries about tomorrow or, you know, the frets about yesterday getting in the way of our spirit being present because we thrive and we heal in the present moment. Um, when our spirit is kind of called back with us. So it kind of sits in our seat of power. Um, and I really love that. I thought that was really helpful for me because sometimes it can get a little esoteric, like living in the moment, living in the now. And it's really just a matter of like having your spirit with you in the now so that you can make good decisions. You don't have to worry about what you're doing as far as if you're doing the right thing or not. Because if you're here in the moment, then oh hello creative 365 so if we're in the moment then we have more ability to kind of make better decisions and kind of sit in the seat of our power and i really liked that about how caroline mace talked about that so if you know of caroline mace again i'll ask you give me some little taps there some little hearts and that's good just kind of tap your screen for some hearts um but just kind of think about it that way is that thank you for the hearts is that when you let your energy go to the worries of tomorrow or going back to yesterday or getting getting upset or frustrated about what's happening in your outside world. It's literally your spirit leaving your body and kind of you don't have energy left to heal and to thrive in the moment because life happens now. It doesn't happen yesterday. It's not happening tomorrow. It's right now. So it's the only moment that we really have. So we want to make sure that we have the best of it. So that was just a little inspiration for our Saturday morning. So thank you guys for joining and thank you for the hearts. And if you like what you saw, give me some more hearts and I'll be back again later on today to do another scope on some tools that I use for myself personally. Okay, ciao, love and light.